This is an overview of what is in the AHP Excel worksheet. I think that it's complicated enough that a little demonstration is in order. First, let's look at the consistency ratio, which is called CR. In this case, CR is 0 0.04, and that value is calculated from the spreadsheet. You see a note that says that if CR is less than or equal to 0.1, then it's acceptable. So this CR value is acceptable. The next section of the spreadsheet I'd like you to look at are the pairwise comparisons. Here's where we actually get customer rating data. The rows in this section are labeled A, B, C, D, and E, and the columns are also labeled A through E. In the table are numbers that we get from customers. So the four is the customer's assessment of the relative importance of the row item, A, to the column item, B. The customer thought that the row was more important than the column, and the four means that the customer thought it was between moderately and strongly more important. If the column is greater than the row, or if the column's more important than the row, the number in this matrix above the diagonal will be a fraction. So in the column showing the relationship between row B and column C, the customer selected column C as being more important than row B. And the number 0.2 is the reciprocal of 5, so it's 1 over 5. So this customer thought that the column was strongly more important than the row. At the bottom of the pairwise comparison table is a row that's labeled sum, and it's simply the total of the numbers above it in the matrix. Below the pairwise comparison matrix is a standardized matrix. The standardized matrix has rows labeled A through E and columns labeled A through E and an additional column that's labeled weight. The numbers in the standardized matrix are simply the corresponding number from the pairwise comparison matrix divided by the sum row. So in cell number B14, we have the value one from cell B5 divided by the sum of the A column, which is 3.58. And below that we have 0 0.07, which is the value 0 0.25 divided by 3.58. And below that we have one divided by 3.58 again, etc. for all of the numbers in the pairwise comparison matrix for column A. Columns B through E are similar. The weight, which is the customer importance weight, is simply the average of the values in that row of the standardized matrix. So you see that the customer believes that the weighting value for item A is 26.7% of the total weight. The weighting value for item B is 5.5% and so on. So this is the true payoff of the analysis. The next matrix in the spreadsheet is used to calculate the consistency index and the consistency ratio. And you can examine the equations yourself in the spreadsheet. The bottom line of this analysis is the consistency ratio calculation. And the consistency ratio, as we mentioned, is 0 0.04 for our data, and that is an acceptable consistency ratio. The example we just reviewed is from the Six Sigma Handbook. The worksheet has an additional example. This one is for a four-item customer rating scale, and the numbers in it are different. You can look at the equations and get a feel for how these values compare to those on the Six Sigma Handbook example. What I would recommend you do is to copy this spreadsheet and use it to structure a matrix that's acceptable for your particular project. And to copy a spreadsheet in Excel, you simply right click on the tab, you go to move or copy, and 
you create another spreadsheet by clicking move to end and create a copy. And what you'll see is there's an additional spreadsheet that's been added to this workbook. And if you double click on the name, you can rename it to something that's meaningful for you and use it without worrying about losing the data that's in the other worksheets.